Ladies, gentlemen, and action gamers of all ages, mid last year, Capcom announced that they had a new game coming out, a fresh IP, and gave us a bit of an announcement trailer that really just sort of laid the foundation. Nothing in it was too explicit, but yesterday we had a lovely little Capcom showcase stream event, and before that we had a gameplay trailer released, but the showcase stream itself also had a bit of a deeper dive on the gameplay in general for this game, and with that we now know actually a lot more about what the game is, and honestly, it is extremely interesting to me. At first, looking at the trailers and even the gameplay, I was a bit confused about what style of game this is, what genre it sort of fits into, and the more that I looked at it, the more I realized the closest comparison that I could make is actually a game called Orcs Must Die, for those who actually know it, at least from my own brain of comparisons. Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess is explained as a game with a very important day and night cycle, and the day you travel around cleansing cursed people and freeing them from the defilement to be empowered by these masks as part of the story to become a part of your army against evil, and you can set them up to help you defend, because at night, you have to protect your maiden against oncoming attack, essentially in a wave survival type of gameplay cycle. So Orcs Must Die feels like an apt comparison to me, as there are waves of enemies, you set up traps and constructs in between, but then there is actual action game combat from the player as well to contribute to the murder. So it's not just a pure tower defense type game, it's like an action tower defense, and this game takes the whole thing to quite an interesting direction, using the day and night cycles as a much more expressive concept of the idea of waves in a game like this. And from what we can see of it, the action combat of the player actually looks extremely involved too. It is super flashy looking, it's extremely cool, and it looks like will be an incredibly important part of the success or failure of each night's defense, with the game's website even saying that you could probably hold it all by yourself if you go deep enough into player power instead of even using the villagers themselves. Visually as well, the game is just incredibly cool, the actual style of it is relatively unique, especially when you compare it to any similar games within what you would call this general genre, though the game itself does seem to be trying to separate itself from said genre and go for somewhat of a fresh take on the whole thing, essentially taking some of the more base concepts of a wave defense style game and sort of revolutionizing it, making it fresh, giving it a proper story behind it as well, and just doing it in a particularly flashy way. Essentially, I'm talking to you all about this now just because honestly, this game looks incredibly interesting to me. I love this style of game. I have sunk hundreds of hours into these styles of games in the past, and to me, right out of the gate, from what we have seen, it just looks incredibly different and in quite an intriguing way as well. It looks like a good type of different. And honestly, it doesn't hurt that it's Capcom doing this too, because at this point, I just trust Capcom to make enjoyable action combat within their video games. They have an extremely solid track record of doing so in so many different styles of games in the past, specifically that it pretty much means that I have no doubts that they will manage to make this game's action combat interesting and fun, which makes me definitely want to keep an eye out on the development of the game, even by itself, on which note it is slated for release later this year in 2024, and it will do so on Xbox Series X, as well as Xbox Series S, PlayStation 5, and then also PC on both Steam and Game Pass. We don't know precisely when it will be releasing quite yet. It could be in the winter, it could be in the summer, it could be the last day of December, but we have confirmed that it will be this year, so it will be 2024. Generally speaking, the game just looks cool, and I wanted to make sure that it got at least a little bit more attention than it currently has, because I think this is something that could easily be swept aside by a bunch of people who see the aesthetics of it and just expect it to be something completely different than what it actually does seem to be. So a bunch of people who might actually really enjoy the game who just don't even look at it because they don't recognize it as the type of genre that it is. Because to me, it actually looks like an innovative enough project where the only real question mark of whether it will be fun or not in the first place is again, something I can pretty much just trust the developers to deliver on, the action combat, because of the track record alone that Capcom has. So I just think that it deserves as much attention as it can get, honestly. All in all, more than anything, I guess this is just for me to sort of gush about this game that we've all just gotten to see proper gameplay of for the first time, really, and I just think it looks incredibly cool, and I think it deserves so much more attention, and to try and explain what it looks like to me, because again, when I first saw it, when I first saw just anything about this game, I had no real idea what kind of game it even was, but the closer I look, the clearer it gets in my eyes, and what I am seeing looks extremely cool. A new take, a fresh take on the wave defense type of game in a much larger game world, where there is a day and night cycle that decides the wave timing, and it's much longer than you would normally have between waves in the style of game, because it's not trying to literally be a wave style game, so much as it is just the way that the actual style of it feels. During the daytime of the game, you travel around, you free possess citizens, you give them powers from an array of different options of the mass that you have on your disposal. They mentioned at least three different types of essentially units that you could have, a melee one, a ranged one, a sort of spell one. They specifically said that you can choose where they stand as well, which 
which does back up the concept of it being a wave defense style game too. And then when nighttime hits, well, whether you're ready or not, waves of enemies will start flooding in and trying to attack and redefile everything around you, including you and your maiden. One of the interesting things as well is it looks like part of the idea is also to literally expand your sort of area during the day to actually purify more people, more places, just really genuinely just make the area that you have to defend bigger, free more of the area from this corruption, from this defilement. And I have to wonder if part of that is also to give nighttime its own sort of scaling difficulty as you get further into the game sort of, where the more area that you save during the day, the larger the zone you'll have to defend the maiden from, at night, which means you will also have to spread the same amount of resources much thinner to cover larger ground. And the whole thing just seems like it would be quite an interesting concept to me in general. And that's pretty much it, everyone, honestly. I just have been thinking quite a lot about this new game. They announced it quite a while back, but they didn't really give us any actual gameplay or any idea of what the game was even really going to be until just a couple of days ago, at which point they've just been flooding us with information, and it's all just really intriguing to me. Kinitsugami Path of the Goddess, which is now confirmed to release this year, 2024, on Xbox, PlayStation, as well as PC in the multiple different parts that you can get them in those platforms. Since the gameplay trailer and yesterday's gameplay showcase, I just haven't been able to stop thinking about it, honestly. It's looking nothing like what I first expected, but in an extremely good way to actually fit that bill, where it looks to be actually different and unique as far as a game, rather than just fitting into a preconceived slot in the world. It feels like this is somebody's creative brainchild coming to life, rather than just something made to pop off in the mainstream by catching the eye of every average show and trying to make a few bucks. Essentially, it looks like it's stemming from a genuinely creative idea to me, executed in genuinely interesting ways with intriguing concepts behind it, and a generally underutilized genre in gaming as well, and doing it in a way that the company, Capcom, has a history of really doing good things with as far as action combat. All in all, it leaves me extremely hopeful, and again, I just sort of wanted to talk about this game with anyone who would listen to me, in the hopes that more people out there would find this game interesting and actually wind up seeing the game to begin with, because at this point, I feel like it's just not getting spread around enough. I don't think enough people are seeing it who are in the target sort of demographic, the people that would actually enjoy it. So I want more people to actually see it. So spread this thing around as much as you can. Let me know your own thoughts on it, but all of course down in the comments below. Maybe you think it looks interesting the same way that I do. Maybe you don't, I don't know. You tell me, like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye